Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Prius app. Today we are doing a leasing swap on this 2018 Prius Generation 4. This battery has around 75% capacity left. Now you can go the EV range for about 1.5 miles. So the customer reached out to us. He wants to upgrade to the leasing and he wants us to do a test on the EV range to see how amazing the leasing can offer. So let's get it started. All right, before you start it, the first thing first, disconnect the uh, 12 volt battery. It's a 10 millimeter. The second thing is to take out the seat. The, lead, the, the battery is actually under the seat for generation four. To take out the seat requires some force. This is where you take out the uh, your persuasion bar. <laughs> So there are two notch, actually two latch. And then once you find the latch, you're gonna give you a, a push. And here we go. Once I pop up, let's take a look at this. You basically had to pry this out. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And to take out this seat belt, okay, we found ourselves a picking tool. So what you need to do is stick this picking tool into the uh, little holes in here and watch. It's gonna release the seat belt. All right, seat belt's out and the seat is freely to be uh, removed from the back seat. Here we go. And that's the battery. Now let's remove the pen over here. There are one, two, Three, total three panels that you need to remove. To remove that, simply pull up, okay, the door sill, just push in, and you'll be able to pull it out. That's pretty easy. Here we go. See, basically push in, and it will release itself. All right, and then, Use some force, take out the panel. One side done, same thing over here. Just give you a good shot. Press in, and you can take it out. That easy. Push in, take it out. And door seal, and here we go. And the middle piece, release it. Here we go. See, there's a frame around the battery cell that we have to take it out. It's hold on by six 12 millimeter bolts. Start with this one. And two underneath. Another one. Same thing on the other side. Now the very important part is to take out the service plug, the tiny little orange service plug. It's very small compared to Gen 2 Gen, Gen 3. So what you need to do is pull it down at 90 degree. Here we go. That's the service plug for Gen 4, very tiny. And at the end of it, it has a notch, tiny little notch. Use this notch to unlock. The safety pin. Here we go. And after taking out the service plug, now it's time to open the junction box. This is 10 millimeter. One, two, three, four, five. There's another one here. Let's take a look. Now take out your voltmeter. Double check the voltage on the terminal. Zero. Yep, so it's safe to touch it. The contactor has 
disconnect the battery. So now take out one side at a time. I'm doing with one hand, so bear with me. Here we go. While you're at it, take out the plug. This is for the service plug. Another one. I believe this is for the temperature sensor or something. Oh, this is for the fan, sorry. The power for the fan. Here we go. You might want to release the fastener from, from below. Now you have all the wiring taken out, right? And it's time to, to uh, detach this battery from the car itself. So it's hold on by a couple of 12 millimeter. There are one, two, three, four, and now there's like five. Total of five 12 millimeter. Here we go. You don't want to lose any of the bolts, so keep it safe. Before you're taking out the heavy battery, uh, there are two additional plugs right over here, right inside need to be taken out. So there's a screw over here. Bring it up. And just slide this out. Okay, here we go. Two plug, disconnect it. Here we go. Pull this out. Now the battery is free to move. So this is a jumbo battery. It has a lot of bolts. Uh, you will have to take out this cover. There's a lot of bolts here. Take out this cover and take out this side panel. Then the whole thing will unfold and you will be able to access the battery inside. It would be a good idea to have a tray to help you out. Let's get it started. This side clear. Clear. Here we go. Here we go. Ten millimeter. Now this bolt. On this side, there are both underneath, also 10 millimeter. Maybe you take it out. Put it on the edge of the table. Take out the terminal. And you're not gonna have to need this anymore because for the lithium battery, the other side is already connected inside. Now let's wait for the battery to cool down a little bit. Then we can take out the uh, 12 millimeter bolts for on the so side. While you're waiting for the battery to cool down, 100 degrees, that's too hot. Take a look at your copper bus bar here. So you will see it actually has a lot of rust in there. Now it's a good time to use vinegar to clean out all the rust.
¿sí? to swap uh, one important thing is this is for gen 4 specifically for gen 4 you cannot use it on gen 2 or gen 3 vice versa the orientation is different starting with positive negative positive negative while on gen 2 and gen 3 starting with negative positive negative positive let's take out the sensors I will highly recommend to take out the ECU as well as the, the fuse on the pack. As you can see, it will make your job easier. to 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 14 meter millimeter. Okay, the battery is cold, cool enough. It's around 85 degrees, so I'm going to unfocus. this. When you install the uh, battery back, it might be a good idea to stack it up vertically, especially for nickel metal hydride battery. It is because the nickel metal hydride battery actually expands, as you can see, actually expands a little bit. So you can use gravity to push down a little bit and make it easier to fasten the, the bolt. Um, this is not necessary for lithium battery because it doesn't expand at all. Okay, so you could just horizontally stack in there and uh, can close the loop on that. Now let's put the lithium battery in. Now all the copper bar is nice and clean. Just rinse it with water and ready to go. Now we have the battery secure, time to put the temperatures back as well as the ECU and the fuse and all the cover.
right now we have the battery back in the car. The rest of it just a reverse order, put the bolt back on. And I just connect the, uh, the main power. All right, and of course, don't forget the fan. Make sure everything's secure. Put the cover back on. All right. And put the rest of the boat back in. And don't forget the plugging. I think this is for the ECU. Service plug. If you want to uh, push in and turn 90 degree and then pull up. Now it's coming. And now the last step to connect the turbo battery. A moment of truth. Here we go. Put the same fire on. Checking this correctly. Let's go for it, right? This is it everyone, uh, from Nico Metal Hydra battery to lithium battery. I'm going to run some tests uh, to compare the performance difference as well as maybe the MPG. Of course, we're going to test the EP range as well, so stay tuned. Um, please subscribe, also uh, make sure to check our website at projectleasing.com. See you on the next one.